First tonight, the controversial candidate, a man who admitted to threatening to shoot students at Waukee High School, now says he plans to run for school board in Ankeny. New tonight, KCCI's Chris Gothner found out how this school board race is getting attention even outside of Iowa. Visit Isaac Holtz's website and you'll see a potential Ankeny school board candidate with a platform calling for online learning options, increased school funding, and more. What you won't see is this. This video from last March shows Holtz being let out of the Dallas County Courthouse in handcuffs after the then 19-year-old was arrested for sending threatening emails against Waukee High School. Court documents said Holtz threatened to, quote, come to school with a gun and shoot all the students. He admitted to KCCI he sent the emails. I did send the email. Holtz claimed he did that because he was being threatened in Johnston. He received a deferred judgment on one count of threatening terrorism. For some Ankeny parents, the idea of him running for school board doesn't sit well at all. It was very concerning that someone who had made threats like that was considering running for school board. School board would be directly overseeing things that involve um, the kids and um, that, you know, this this is a guy who literally threatened, um, you know, an entire school you know, a year ago. Holtz's possible candidacy is even getting noticed outside Iowa. The founder of nationwide gun control advocacy group Moms Demand Action tweeted about it Thursday. Andrew Rasmussen and Jason Danielson are also teachers and they say they understand Holtz is young and are all for second chances, but they say being a school board seat especially amid an already tense atmosphere. We've had examples of people come to school board meetings and yell at people for wearing masks and, and curse at people outside the school board meeting. It's just not a good idea. Maybe, maybe start somewhere else. Now, I did text and call Holtz today to give him the chance to explain why he's running. He said he didn't want to comment until he filed for office, but later said he would send me a comment by tomorrow morning. If that happens, we'll post it on our KCCI mobile app. Laura.